I initially vacillated from foster home to foster home uh, in the earlier years of, of being in foster care, um, going back and forth to, to children's shelters, orphanages, group homes. Um, and I went through the system. You know, as a child for 12 years, I went through their system and I experienced the abuse. I was on drugs for 12 years um, and what I found out was I didn't need them. I didn't feel like I needed them. Um, these adults were telling me that, that I had all these problems and that the medications were going to fix these problems for me. In reality, what it was doing was it was subduing my emotions and it was in essence controlling my mind uh, by putting me in this sedative state where I wasn't able to fully express myself, I wasn't able to fully um, enjoy myself. Uh, certain emotions I couldn't feel because of these medications or I wouldn't allow myself to feel because of these medications. There was uh, reactive detachment disorder. Uh, I was told I, had, I was in, incapable of forming a relationship with anybody. Opposition or defiant disorder, attention deficit hyperactive disorder, depression. When they told me that, you know, I just believed it. And growing up, it was with that understanding of that's all I had been told was that there was something wrong with me. Over a period of time, um, as I would transition from facility to facility, every time I would go into a new one, I would sit before a different doctor and they would prescribe me different drugs and give me a different diagnosis. When I turned 18, I told the doctor, I said, you know, I don't have to be on these medications anymore. Legally, I have the right to go off of them and I don't want to take them anymore. I experienced a whole new type of me, a whole nother side of me that I loved, that I enjoyed. I, I had fun, I enjoyed myself, I felt emotions that I hadn't felt previously. Once I took off that, once I took off the label of ADHD, of depression, of uh, reactive detachment disorder, once I removed those labels, you know, I was able to choose what I wanted to be for myself. I decided that I wanted to, do, to be an advocate for youth um, who are in the, in the foster care system because I, going through the foster care system myself, I experienced a lot of things that should not have happened. Um, and I wanted to be able to change those things. I wanted to be able to stand up to the people who committed those atrocities. I wanted to be able to point them in their face and say, you were wrong, look at me, I'm a success story. I prove that you're wrong. It's, it's tragic that you, that you identify a child and you allow that identity of a child being uh, attention deficit disorder, opposition or defiant or reactive detachment disorder, all these other negative stigmas. It's, it's a travesty that you tell them it and that they believe that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them other than someone's opinion of that. And it's not an opinion that's based off of science or uh, information. It's an opinion based off theory of what they believe in their, you know, who are they to tell us, you know, something is wrong with them. I wanted to be able to help those kids who are in foster care who aren't able to speak out. They're not given a voice. They're not given any opinions about, about whether or not they can take medicine or about all these other laws and policies that affect them. But they diagnose them and they label them and that label affects them negatively for the rest of their lives. And I travel statewide to talk to youth who are in the system, disenfranchised youth, youth who are going through the same predicaments that I went through. Um, I'm creating change on a scale that is a colossal scale. For the psychiatrists and the people who told me that something was wrong with me, who said that I wouldn't be able to function without this medication and that the medication was gonna fix me because I was a problem or I had a problem, you're wrong. Simple and plain is that you're wrong and I've proven that.